Hi kids! This is Teacher May, your teacher for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest videos. Hello kids! Today, you will learn about discovering the properties of quadrilaterals, parallelograms, rectangle, and square. Classifying the properties of quadrilaterals, parallelograms, rectangle, and square. Before we start our new lesson, let's have a short review. Find, observe, and share. Look around. Observe the different objects you see. Find objects that have four sides. Share your findings with the class. For today, you will learn about quadrilaterals and their characteristics. A quadrilateral is a four-sided figure with broad, several types, and unique properties. Today, we will focus our discussion on the following parallelogram, rectangle, and square. We're going to unlock some words that will help us understand the lesson even better. Quadrilateral is a four sided figure, parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Square is a rectangle with equal sides. What do you notice about the pictures below? A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. It has four vertices and four angles. It can be named using its vertices in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction starting from any vertex. Look at the illustrations. Angle H and angle A are opposite angles. Line HM and line TA are opposite angles. Sides. Angle T and angle M are opposite angles. Line MA and line HT are opposite sides. A diagonal is a segment joining two opposite vertices of a polygon. It divides a quadrilateral into two triangles. We learned that the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Each triangle formed by the diagonal has a total angle measurement of 180 degrees. Therefore, the sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. These are the classifications of quadrilaterals. Focus on the parallelogram. Name the vertices, sides, and angles. Identify the two pairs of opposite sides and the two pairs of opposite angles in the next slide. Describe the parallelogram. It has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel to each other. BA is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD. Each pair of opposite sides are equal. BA is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD. Each pair of opposite angles are equal. Angle A 
is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. Note the marks on the sides of the parallelogram. The opposite sides have the same arrowhead marks, which means that they are parallel. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. This time, focus on the rectangle below. Name the vertices, sides, and angles. Vertex M, N, Q, and P. Sides M, N, N, P, Q, P, and M, Q. Angles M, N, Q, and P. Identify the two pairs of opposite sides and the two pairs of opposite angles. Opposite sides, MN and QP. MQ and NP. Opposite angles, angles Q and N, angles M and P. Describe the rectangle. Are both pairs of opposite sides parallel? Are both pairs of opposite sides equal? Are both pairs of opposite angles equal? Is a rectangle a parallelogram? How would you classify the angles of a rectangle? A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Now, look at the square. Name the vertices, sides, and angles. Vertex, R, S, T, and V. Sides, R, S, S, T, T, V, R, V. Angles, R, S, T, and V. Identify the two pairs of opposite sides and the two pairs of opposite angles. Opposite sides, R, S, and V, T. R, V, and S, T. Opposite angles, angles R and T, S and V. Describe the square. Are both pairs of opposite sides parallel? Is a square a parallelogram? How would you classify the angles of a square? Is a square a rectangle? What can you say about the sides of a square? A square is a rectangle with equal sides. Identify and describe the type of quadrilateral illustrated by each object.
Hello kids! Today, you will learn about Discovering the properties of quadrilaterals, rhombus, and trapezoid Classifying the properties of quadrilaterals, rhombus, and trapezoid Before we start our new lesson, let's have a short review Today, we will continue with the rest of the kinds of quadrilaterals, looking at the diagram, which ones have we not discussed yet. They are general quadrilateral, rhombus, and trapezoid. We're going to unlock some words that will help us understand the lesson even better. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. General quadrilateral has no parallel sides. What can you say about each picture? What kind of quadrilaterals do they represent? Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. The trapezoid is also called trapezium. Rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. Is a square a rhombus? A square is a rhombus because it has four equal sides. General quadrilateral has no parallel sides. One kind of general quadrilateral is the kite. You will learn more about the properties of a kite in the future. Hello kids! Today, you will learn about classifying the properties of quadrilaterals, parallelogram, rectangle, square, rhombus, and trapezoid. Before we start our new lesson, let's have a short review.
For today, you are going to apply all that you have learned through the arts. This will be your performance task. Look at the chart below. Give actual objects or structures that represent each item. As performance task, you are going to create a structure just like in the pictures. Imagine that all of you are architects or engineers. You are going to construct a structure with triangles and quadrilaterals using popsicle sticks or the like. Be creative in showing the different triangles and quadrilaterals that you have learned. Please be guided by the rubrics given in the next slide. 